Hello and welcome to week two of our Give Me Some Attitude series where we're looking at the Beatitudes. And all of the Beatitudes are Jesus' teaching on how we can get closer to God and see his kingdom break through in the earth. And so we're looking at Matthew chapter 5 verse 4 today and it talks about blessed are they who mourn for they will be comforted. Now a lot of people look at this verse and they say oh this is about people who are grieving but the Beatitudes remember are about our relationship with God and having a kingdom mindset. So although there are lots of other verses about how God comforts people who are grieving it's perhaps a little bit of a mistake to see this verse as just being about that because it's not. The verse is encouraging people who want to be blessed to grieve for the sin in their lives. And the Greek word that's used for grieve is a very strong word that expresses a real sense of sorrow about what's happened. Blessed are those who grieve over the sins that they've done. Those who mourn over the sins that they've done because they are the ones who are going to be comforted. Last week we looked at how the poor in spirit, the people who are humble, go to God and they receive God's blessing, the kingdom blessing. This week it builds on that a little bit. Those whose sin grieves them take their sins to God and it's they who find the comfort. The comfort of knowing that their sins are forgiven, that their relationship with God is restored. How do we know as Christians if we are still dealing with our sins properly. After all, becoming a Christian doesn't mean that you don't make mistakes anymore. It doesn't mean that you don't sin anymore. It just means that you know that God's there to forgive you, wants to forgive you and wants to restore you. How do we know if we're not dealing with our sins properly, if our sins aren't making us mourn and respond in the way that we should? If we're not grieving for our sins, but you know, actually holding on to them and not letting God deal with them. I want to suggest there's three ways that can show that we're not dealing with sin the way that kingdom-minded people should. The first one is if we deny. If we're confronted by sin, perhaps when we're doing our quiet time, God reminds us of something we've done. Perhaps somebody else actually challenges us directly and says, you've done this. If we deny that we've done it, that shows perhaps that we're not dealing with sin the way that kingdom-minded believers should. We're denying it's happened. Sometimes we can acknowledge it's happened, but deny that it's important. Oh, it really doesn't matter because of this. Or what are you making a fuss about? If we're doing that, if we're involved in denial, then we're not dealing with sin in the kingdom way that Jesus wants us to. And that's going to affect our relationship with God and with other people until we get it sorted. Another way that we show that we're not kingdom minded in how we deal with sin is if we deflect. What do I mean by that? Well, somebody comes up to you and says you've done something wrong or God says to you in your quiet time, you know, reminds you of something you've done and you're like, oh. And you can say to God or the person who's accused you, well, it's not that bad. I mean, what about him? Now, what does this show? It shows that we're trying to deal with sin with our own righteousness, I suppose, a little bit back to last week. It shows that we're not dealing with sin the way that God wants us to deal with sin. Take it to him and say, you know what, Lord, I'm, I messed this up and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that it's affected my relationship with you and it's affected my relationship with other people, but I know that you died to save me from my sins and I know you can take this mess and you can make something good and positive out of it if I just trust in you so Lord I'm sorry for what I've done don't deny don't deflect what's the last thing I've chosen the word dilute it's not that bad you know it's very easy for us to sort of rank sin in you know some kind of league table oh that one's really bad that was not too bad and we can use that to sort of get around in our own minds something that we've done wrong and instead of just acknowledging it and taking it to god and getting it dealt with we dilute it oh it's not that bad 
oh, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, all right, I did that, but you know, I did this other thing that was good, so don't they kind of balance out? And we just dilute and dilute the problem until we can kind of get our heads around the fact that in our minds, it's okay. And people can excuse all kinds of things. They can dilute it down. Uh, have you ever had a situation where you say to somebody, you know, like, you know, that really hurt me, and they say to you, oh, it wasn't that bad. So that they're telling you how you feel about something. What are they doing? Well, instead of dealing with it, mourning and grieving for it, taking it to God and asking God's forgiveness and your forgiveness, they're diluting it. You know, it's not that big a deal. You're making a fuss about nothing. You know, sometimes we get a mixture of all of those Ds when somebody's uh, sort of confronted by something that they've done wrong. The right way, the kingdom way of dealing with the sin in our life is, yeah, to, to sort of go, do you know what, this, this grieves me that this has been allowed to get a foothold in my life, but then straight away, take it to the Lord. We're not called as Christians to walk around miserable because we keep messing up. We're called to rejoice in our salvation and in the fact that God has saved us. But there are things sometimes that God says, look, you know what, deal with this. You know, acknowledge that you've done something wrong. Grieve that you've done something wrong, but grieve with me and let me give you comfort. So if there's something going on in your life, an attitude you hold, something that you're doing, whatever it might be, you know it's wrong. You've tried denying, you've tried deflecting, you've tried diluting, it's still there, it's still bothering you. The reason why that's happening is because you're not doing the kingdom attitude approach to sin in your life. Let it grieve you enough to take it to God. And then let God comfort you and forget about it. Because you'll be forgiven and restored and you'll always be loved by God. Kingdom minded. So, show me some Beatitudes. Yeah. <laughs>